Your time, 6.15. Let's talk health beat this morning. It's safe to say hearing about the state of the world can be stressful. From gas prices and inflation to mass shootings and COVID surges, it can really take a toll on your mental health. And it's something we don't see, so the experts say it's sometimes not always a paid attention to. Health Education Council Program Director Lupita Rodriguez says crisis counselors with CalHOPE are seeing stress build up in personal finances and relationships. People are now looking for a way out. And Rodriguez shared some of the signs that you or a loved one might spot. That they aren't reaching out, that they're quieter, um, you know, and this maybe continues for a bit and is unusual for their personality. Anything really that's unusual for their personality. And if you are somebody trusted and close to this person, then really reaching out is very important and simply being there. Um, I think the one way to do it is to say, hey, I've noticed uh, this. Um, is there something going on? Is there something that I can help you with? And to be prepared to listen, or if the person isn't ready to talk, then to just be there. Being there, it's a major coping strategy. You don't want to isolate yourself. Connecting with others is important. That could be someone that you trust, maybe a family member or a friend. And it has to be someone who won't pass judgment. You can also reach out to an organization like Cal Hope. There you can talk to one of the trained crisis counselors who can offer strategies to improve how you're feeling. If you do want to reach out to Cal Hope, you can call the number that's on your screen. There's a live online chat for you, which you can find more information about on my Facebook page, Bria Love TV. And then there's resources on calhope.org that are available in many languages as well. One thing Rodriguez says is important to remember is it's okay not to be okay. Acknowledge that and find help because you do deserve to feel better. Okay, it's 617.